I'm going to be doing a tutorial video. Travis was surviving without asking me how I put mouse over clickable links in my video. So I'm going to show you start to finish. First, bring that up. This is my video editing program. And if you notice right here, I put in the picture in the video program, and that's Travis's channel. And we'll go over here to Ken's, and I put that in there. So I go ahead and render that, and we'll upload that to YouTube, which is right here. There we go. A little bit of a mess going. Okay. So now our video is uploaded. You want to wait until it's fully rendered on YouTube. If you don't, it's just not going to come out right. So we're going to go click on the video. And I'm going to stop it right there. Now, if we go down here, click on annotations. It will be down here. So we're going to click on that. It will bring you to this page right here. Now, if we look over to the right, annotations, we'll click that down. It gives you several different options. You can put in a speech bubble, a note, title, spotlight, or label. We are going to pick spotlight. And it brings down this box. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to come over here and make the lettering as small as possible, which is 11. 11. And then I'm going to make the letters clear and the background of the lines clear. Here it says link. You can link it to a video, playlist, channel, Google profile, subscriber, finished project, and so on and so forth. We're going to put in a link to my channel right there. And I'm going to put in open in a new window. Let's preview the link, make sure I did it right. And it did. There is my channel. And it works perfectly. Okay. Now, if you look here at the center of the screen, this black box has appeared. And if you mouse over it, here's your link right up here. And there's the outline of the box. Now, don't worry about that. When you get done and publish it, that box disappears and it's clear. So, I've already got stuff linked up on this page. I think what I'll do is if you notice down here, I've got my logo. So, we're going to put the little black box over my logo. And we're going to make it small as possible. Now, this box right here, I'm moving around. See that? That is the lettering. Let's put that over there first. And then we're going to drag this down and put that over the top of it. And our little black box is now almost on there. There we go. Next thing, it's going to come down over here. As you'll see, this little box just showed up. We're going to move it up a notch here. There we go. And we're going to run it right over there, all the way across the video. That way that link stays there the whole time. Anytime somebody mouses over it, there we go. And there it goes. It moved itself up. It'll take us to that page. Now, if you want to edit the links that are already in there, we're going to drag this all the way across. And so we get to there. There's the links for Travis's page and Ken's page and we're going to fine tune that and we're going to make this zoom in so we can actually get down into the seconds and the minutes. There you go, there's a link to Travis's page. There's the link in the black box and of course that won't show up so we'll start the video. There's his box, you click on that link and it goes right to his page. You know what, let's play a little yeah, bit longer. Really good, you want to check it out. Uh, I don't want to give anything away, but it, it's really good. That's me rambling. Is Kenneth Cram. And there is Ken's, and we mouse over it. Our link has showed up. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is come up here. We are going to hit Publish. And that link we just put in has been published. 
To get it to a certain section, all you have to do is come down to this bottom box and drag these to what frame you want the link to start at with the long and want it to end. So we'll backtrack this a little bit. And then if we go up, you'll notice that the link will show up until the video shows up. That's why I got it timed down here. So we'll start the video. You notice the link hasn't engaged. And we can pull this forward a little bit and line that up perfectly for when the picture fades in. And we'll put it right about there. Let's go up and check it real fast. Okay, it seems to be lined up. We'll drag it back on the timeline a bit. And... Yep, there it is. Showed up exactly when the picture faded in. So we got it right on there. No link. We have a link. Okay, now we got that done and we published our video. The next thing you want to do, check it to make sure the link is working proper. So we're going to click on the video, open it up, mouse over my logo, and it shows up. It's working. We're going to drag down here. We'll make sure that Travis and Ken's links are working. Almost there. Travis's link is working. Go forward just a little bit. Ken's link is working. So there we go. We got those all taken care of. Now, that's done. There's a lot of fun things you can do with adding a clickable link in your video. A lot of you do not know this. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit real quick. I put a lot of hidden videos in my main videos. If you notice, we'll come down here. This is the uh, tactical hiking belt. If you notice, you mouse over the top of it and you click on it, it goes to a hidden video. And this shows more detailed uh, video of how the tactical hiking belt was put together when I first got it. So let's go back real quick. Another cool thing we can do, and I'm going to start this real quick. Which will be actually the filming of this. You can put in a picture with another clickable link right there. And boom, it brings you to the page. That's another hidden video. We'll take it back and yeah, make it big again. And you can do the same thing with another video. You put right below it, right there, and we click on it, and it goes to another video. All right, so that's how I put the mouse over clickable links on my page. Now, this only works if you use a laptop or a PC. It will not work on a tablet or iPad, a smartphone or an iPhone. So I hope this helps you out, Travis. Uh, anybody else has any suggestions, feel free to put them in the comment box. And like always, thanks for watching.